Hello, I am GeneralJ97 and I'm just going to do a quick explanation video on the 3ds Max export interface which is from my 3ds Max export tutorials that I do for Men of War series games. I'm doing this video because many people are still getting confused with some of the options and how it works. So this video will hopefully clear any confusion you may have with this interface. I'm going to start off with the game resource path as there's quite a bit of confusion over this. When you hit the export button all the files will be exported to this location you have set here. It does not export to the 3ds Max export folder which some people think. And I'd also recommend not to set this as the actual game path as you may overwrite something or end up with the files being lost in there and end up having to search for them. I'd also recommend if you have Windows Vista 7 or 8 to not set it as program files as there's protection on the program files area on these operating systems which hide files or prevents them being placed in this area. So this will prevent any problems you may have so we yeah, set it as I have here. For the source common textures path it will be the same as the game resource path but you'll have uh, bitmaps on the end of it. This tells the model that the texture will be in the model's folder itself. Here we have the game common textures path which will just be texture common and this will tell the file that if it's not within the model folder it will search for it in the texture common folder and this can also be useful if you have two models of the same using the same texture. You can place the texture in this area and both models will use it and will save space so you don't have to put it in the models folder itself. Up here we have uh, three export options. You'll always have mesh selected. Animations you'll have selected if you have any animations on your model. If you don't have any animations at all, unselect this. Inverse kinematics is something that turns on its axis in game and this allows it to turn as well. If you have none of these, untick it. Here we have two options for the object types. You'll always have geometry selected and light source is applied to anything that has a icon in the game when you equip it or the inventory. So if you have any 3ds Max light sources on such things as weapons then you'll select this. If you don't, unselect it. Here we have a static frame which I don't think you'll ever use but what it does is so if I selected along here and I had an animation and I'd select a certain frame, if I put that frame number in here, when I click the export button, it'll do a static pose of a still. Down here we have three animation options. Current frame range only, if you select this, if I select a certain range here, it'll export all the animations after this point. Here we have selected objects only, so if I say selected a few parts of this LVT4 here and I click export, it will export all the animations linked to those objects only. If I select reverse animation, it will reverse all the animations on export so they will be all backwards. So if I was going to export this LVT4 now, I would have mesh, animation, inverse kinematics, geometry, no light sources, no frame, no current frame range only, no selected objects only, and no reverse animations. And then I'll click export. And once I do that, you'll see a blue bar somewhere down here, which will show the progress. If your model that you're exporting is small and there's not much in the scene, it will probably go so fast that you won't be able to see it. Also, as for errors, I cannot help you with many of these as I would need to be able to recreate them easily and be able to tell you how it is caused and how to fix it and solve it. So if you have any error problems, search around the DMS forums for any errors that people have had and possible fixes. This has been General J927 and I hope this video has helped you and solved any confusion you may have on the export interface as itself.